Welcome to another Darktable tutorial. In this video, we'll be doing drawn and parametric masks together. So in past tutorials, we've learned how to draw just a certain shape or a path over an image and then apply that module just to that portion. We've also learned how to do parametric masks where we come over here and we, under the blend mode, we go to just parametric mask. And then we can select based on either a certain hue. If we do hue, we can constrict to just the blues in this image. We drag this over and we just get the blues in this image. Uh, ha and this happens to be, what are we doing? Oh, color correct. So our, our mask would look like this in this case. And as we fine tune and adjust this, we can get it more narrow and just select some certain blues. But the problem with this is we're selecting the blues in the car and the blues on the ground, but also the blues in the sky. So when we apply our adjustment, it might make our whole image, it kind of throws off uh, what we're trying to do maybe because whatever the, this car does also the sky would do so in this video we're going to do a drawn and parametric mask and we're not going to do the uh, color corrector maybe we'll do color contrast so let me turn off that color corrector and under color contrast here I'm going to go to the blend mode and we'll do drawn and parametric mask what this is going to let us do is mask off a certain area and I'll just choose the vehicle and I'll do a path this time. So we'll select this uh, right here and we'll just come over and start clicking. So I'll click a couple times right in here and I should probably get a little bit more exact than this, but I can always fine tune this later as well. And then when I'm done, I'll right click and then the feather, I can come and just feather that in really, really, really tight. And even the whole shape I can kind of bring in and I can drag and move it around by left click and hold. So that's not too bad. And now, uh, whatever we do, so if we do this adjustment now, it'll make adjustments to only the car and everything else is unaffected. Well, this is the same thing that we've really done with our, with just a drawn. This is essentially only a drawn mask. But the nice part is now we can also select certain elements within here. So as you see, when we make an adjustment here, it's also making an adjustment within the headlight, whoa, here. And so we're, we're kind of adjusting colors in there. Well, what if we just want to select the blue? Oh, I'm sorry. If we just want to select the blue in here. Uh, boom, 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 boom. We'll use our parametric selection in addition to our drawn selection. So to do that, we come over here and we see we have the options for a drawn mask, but we also have right below that the options for parametric mask. So we can select hue now and we can, if we want, we can grab our color picker tool and kind of drag that in there just to get an indicator of where that falls on our input. Notice it's different on input and output because we're, we've made an adjustment there. So because we've made an adjustment already in here, that's affecting um, where this line falls. That's kind of the difference. So a lot of times when if you play with this very first, you're going to not the changes you make on output and input are going to be the same. But once you've already made some changes, then your input and output are going to be different. Anyway, I'm going to be working off of the input. We'll just drag this right here and we'll select and we'll toggle this view so we can see what our mask is looking like. And so now this is what our mask is looking like before it already looked pretty good because it was just everything within completely yellow within that drawn shape that we made. But now if we adjust this a little bit, we can sort of get some definition in there and maybe break out like the wheels and the windows and see some of that stuff a little bit separately. So that's what I'll do is drag this in and try to get this in. Again, we're on hue. So we're, we're kind of trying to narrow in on the hue of this vehicle. And that might be pretty good there. We do get some of that, but some of that's going to be reflections in the glass anyway. So we want to change, make an adjustment to that. And then I can actually click on my mask. Let's go back to my drawn mask. So I'll go to it in my mask manager and I'll just adjust this a little bit. Now that we're looking at it, we're seeing sort of the ground there is being affected. So we can fine tune this a little bit better so that we're not, so that we get more, it looks a little bit more realistic, maybe more accurate to what we're trying to do. Okay. Let's leave it just like that. And now the changes that we make, all we've done really is just affected our mask. We've created a more accurate mask by selecting the object and then using the parametric to select pixels within that object, uh, common pixels. And now we can use the color correct to make adjustments and it's only going to make adjustments to the pixels within that selected area. So this particular one's not giving us too much of an effect. Um, the, uh, the color contrast, 
I should have picked a better one to do an example. But really, a lot of times when if you're trying to change the color, there's a better way to do this. Um, so this would, we would just be making a subtle adjustment here anyway. Uh, and so we can see what it would look like before and after sort of the changes that we've made. But if we're trying to do color adjust, check out the next tutorial. We'll learn how to do our color zones. And that's how we can create a look sort of like this, where we can take something that was one color and change it to another color by just adjusting colors uh, within the color zone module. Anyway, hopefully that didn't make things too much more confusing for you using drawn and parametric. It really is fairly simple where you just draw a, a shape and then apply parametrics with, to anything within that shape or that mask. Um, but knowing when and how to use this is kind of the harder part of making that right judgment call of using the right tool for the job. Anyway, leave your questions, comments below if you have any, and look forward to catching you in the next video.